What's happening, Magnus Sites? So apparently yours truly got into a compilation for Dragon Ball Super Broly. Let's check this shit out, baby. Wow, it's like yo, from, from the emotion, from the action, the storytelling. Dog, this Dragon Ball Super Broly movie was insane! And I'm fired up. Woo! I loved this movie. It made me feel like a kid on the edge of my seat. It was definitely a very cool experience. I like what they did here. They made Broly a super interesting character. The Broly that they created in this story to me is just awesome. Now it's our fights. OG Dragon Ball fights. <laughs> I did not want to fight them because it was so well choreographed. Beautiful, so beautiful to watch. The animation was awesome, the fights were awesome, that was so good! If you're going to see the Broly movie tonight, or in the next couple of days, you're gonna have a really good time. It was awesome. It was amazing! Go see it! <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> I was in there for like, what, a tenth of a second? <laughs> it's pretty good though, yeah. They uh, had actually gotten in touch with me about that, about using me in it. So I was like, okay, cool. Put me on in there. Appreciate it, Toei. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, nah, I was gonna say something. I was not gonna say it though. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I gotta tell you about the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Um, even after I saw it the first time, um, after it's been mulling over in my head, it's growing on me a little bit. Um, I still don't like how you know um, they made his you know. It made it like Superman, like, you know, people have always made the comparison, but like, it was just like, all right, just, just make it the Japanese Superman, like the way they did it and with him sending his son. It was just, to me, it, that pissed me off. It was just too much like Superman at that point. Like, why do that? Why? And, uh, um, thankfully a few of you wrote to me and you told me that the, the script called for a three hour movie and there's a lot of shit that was cut out and that's the reason why this story seemed wonky at certain points especially that when freeze destroyed i was like wait a minute he's he's battle damaged and he i was like i thought that was strange i was like what what the, the hell it's like it just happened too fast something certain things in the story just didn't you know what i mean yes the action was great but i do like a good story i'm not just a mindless action you know uh, type of movie goer. If that was the case, I'd loved um, Transformers four and five, but I hated them. So you know. Um, but yeah, um, post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought, and if you enjoyed the reaction, of course, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Ten million subscribers. Woo!